Yo, what's up guys, could use you some to hear back with another Pokemon Expanded Deck video today. We're taking a look at Zoark. So this is the new um, card from Evolving Skies. Has a nifty ability. So once during your turn, you may choose a Stage 1 Pokemon from your discard pile. And then you basically switch them out with Zoark. So Zoark and all cards attached to it go in the discard. And then you bring in one of the many Pokemon um, we, we, we play. But before we get into the video, if you guys are looking to buy some Pokemon codes online, make sure you guys head to by ptcjoecodes.com. Use my code Keldio for 5% off your purchase on the website to get yourself some Evolving Skies packs, Chillin' Reigns, get all of them at uh, by ptcjoecodes.com. Link will be down in the description below. So yeah, we're playing, we're definitely playing a 4-4 line. Um, you know, Zork, I mean, we, we only play four Zors, so we, we, we do give our opponents a lot of cards, but I mean, we play like Ants and Marys and stuff like that, but... The whole, the whole point of this deck is to wall out our opponent, just prevent them from attacking, pre prevent them from doing any damage. Um, I mean, we do play a little bit of energy, which I, it is good to play energy because like sometimes your opponent just, you know, do not concede. And uh, we, we do want to like, you know, try to, you know, knock out our opponent uh, Pokemon. But um, yeah, we're playing. Um, so basically our uh, wallers are, will be, um, well, we've got like, We've got seven wall Pokemon, and all, all of them are very useful. Um, we've got Altaria, which prevent all damage done to this Pokemon from Vs and GXs, but does not prevent effects though, uh, but just only damage from Vs and GXs. So this is like V Maxes, you know, tag teams, all that. Uh, and then none of, these, none of these guys' attacks are, you know, really impressive, but they do damage. That that's all that matters. Um, We've got Alolan Persian GX. It prevents effects attacks, which is nice. Um, yeah, of course, damage from Tag Team, Ultra Beast, Special Energy. So that, that's a lot of different stuff. Um, probably Special Energy is the most useful thing about this guy. Um, has a decent attack as well. You know, 120 damage for 2 energy. Not too bad. Uh, but there are some scenarios where Tag Team and Ultra Beast could be useful. <coughs> uh, we've got Honchkrow, which is probably like the most... Um, the one I, 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 I've i used the least, um, but it does have like unfair GX, so, like if your opponent, you know, has like, um, you know, on their first turn ha has like, you know, thin down their hands, like only like one or two cards, then Hounchkrow may actually be good because like you could force them into top deck mode for unfair GX, but also it's special energy blocker, tool stadium. I mean, I guess if you're playing like something like tool drop, it's not too bad, I guess. Um, you know, where they just play a million tools or something like that, but it's mostly probably for this GX. Just to, you know, lock your, just to slow down your opponent a lot, you know, make room for, like, other dudes. Uh, but it is probably, like, the most unused out of all of these. Uh, so you, you could sub it up uh, with something else, maybe. Uh, we got Aerodactyl GX, which is used in, in some scenarios. I mean, I, not even for its ability, really, uh, but it is nice, you know, making, having your active Pokemon attack, you know, attach one more energy if they're basic, which is good for something like Mad Party, but... If we're playing that part, we, we we've got this guy. Um, this is mostly for like wild dive GX, which um, you know, just for one energy, um, one fighting, one aurora, or whatever, um, just 50 damage to um, you know, times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon, and then it's fighting, so it's you know, weak against, um, you know, weakness against um, you know, colorless, um, darkness, lightning, um, and they just need like four energy. And you can, or like three or four energy, then you can one in them. So this is like a cheeky guy just to get like yourself some, <laughs> your, your prizes, you know, knock out your, um, you know, the, the their main attacker on the other side could be pretty good. Um, we've also got Pyro, which probably like the most used one, honestly, just prevent all damage done um, by opponent's basic Pokemon. Not effects though, but yeah, you know, damage from basic Pokemon, a lot of decks, you know, a lot of decks do not play evolution Pokemon, so. This is probably going to be like the most useful dude. Uh, we've got Muck, which um, prevents abilities and, um, you know, just basic abilities and hand, discard, whatever, in play. Um, it, this is basically just good just to like ride on your bench, you know. If you have another Zora, Zora going, you may as well just put in a Muck, you know. Uh, we do play Silent Lap, but that could be like, you know, easily, um, you know, Fuel Blur or replaced by another stadium. And this guy, you have to like use to kill it. Uh, the last dude is Trevnaught, which uh, prevents items from your opponent's hand. And it has to be your active the Pokemon though, so this isn't really good against like you know any any deck that has energy. It, it's good for decks that don't play any 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 energy because 
um, you know, they play a lot of items. Stuff like control, mill are really um, item, you know, dependent. So if you just item lock off the bat and don't put any other bench Pokemon, then um, yeah, you're you're probably winning the game just because they they can't just do they can't do like any anything, you know. So Trevenite could be good in those scenarios. Uh, so that's it for the Pokemon. Um, playing a lot of a lot of trainers. We got three acrobatics. All this is just for like you know getting us a fast start, you know, Zork, and then like switching the next turn so a lot of like support you know items but we've got acro bikes you know look at the top two cards in your deck put one in your hand discard the other one got four compressors pretty pretty good you know just for discarding anyone in your deck one computer search we got one fuel blower we got four communications um i, I may have put i may have put like too many communications in this deck but it's good for like subbing out a, a guy um, for like a zork or something or you know another zora to put on your bench on your first turn and putting someone back in, in your deck so you can like compress her but you could maybe like put in like a few qu quick balls or something like that um we're playing one rescue this is for like you know when, when we zork each time we um we we we, we basically discard them from play so <laughs> these guys are going to stack up the discard quite a lot so we are playing one rescue for that um we got four trainer males four ultra balls um three via seekers three side labs you know I mean, why not, um, you know, uh, block their abilities, right? Um, and Path of the Peak wouldn't really work. We just want, because we, we play no, <laughs> we play like no basic abilities, right? It's all stage one, so don't we want Psy Labs. Uh, for supporters, we got two Cynthia's, you know, just standard draw six, um, one Gladian, because they're, yeah, Gladian's, Gladian's definitely good, because there's definitely times where you need something that's prized, maybe like a Pyro or something. Um, just one Guzma. Two Marnies, two ends, basically because like, yeah, we probably will give our opponent like pretty big hands. So these guys can be, can be good like first turn or something. Um, just one Juniper. We're playing Big Parasol, which um, prevents um all all effects attacks done to all your Pokemon. So that that, that that's actually this is actually a really good item. Um, I didn't use it much this video, but it is good for like blocking stuff like poison, any effects, any effects of attacks, stuff like poisoning. Uh, like straight up knocking your opponent out uh, with some like GX attacks or something. Um, what else? Like also like something like drag pull, like attaching like uh, damage counters. Uh, but the thing is like your opponent could fuel blow or something. Um, but yeah, we definitely want to play this like later in the game. You know, maybe like bait out fuel blowers by putting sign labs or something like that. But it it can it can save your, yourself a little bit. Um, I mean, uh, Persian can prevent attacks but you know something like pyro or alter it can so definitely pretty good to have and then for energy we just got, we just got three aurora which um you know all, all these guys we can actually attack with except moth but like you know all these guys have like double colors and then like it's pr pretty convenient actually pretty convenient for this deck double colors and like one energy so it makes it really easy just to like you know attack with aurora we do have to discard a energy or any, any card from our hand if we use it though and then three double colors. So that's gonna wrap up the, the introduction. Let's get on to the battles. All right, go on the first game of the day. I'm gonna choose to go first. Definitely wouldn't mind evolving on my second turn. Uh, but the thing about going first is that like, um, can't use any supporters. So getting another Zora on the field may be hard. I do want another Zora probably because uh, there's a chance I could get like knocked out next next turn. Cause like, I, I've only got what, like 50, 60 HP. Yeah, 60. Okay, well this is good end. This is a good hand. I mean, I can't do anything else, but I don't need to. I mean, next turn, I definitely need some compressors going. Or some, like, Ultra Balls or something like that. This is fun. Playing ADP. Do I need another Zora? Um, maybe. I probably don't. I probably don't. I mean, he's playing ADP, so, like, <laughs> you know, if he kills, like, three of me, I, I could die. So, I probably don't want another dude. Uh, I, I need to see what this guy has, though. I definitely need a, you know, I, I need to judge on a, you know, this guy's deck to see what dude would be the best to counter him. Discard water energy. Guzma Hella Marnie. Alright, so he's gonna probably Guzma Hella. Probably Guzma Hella. Yep. Okay. Discard a Marnie as well. Alright. So he's gonna, I mean, GX doesn't really matter. It really doesn't matter. Uh, but I just don't want to, like, spam Zoras then. 
Definitely don't need a ranger in this deck. Uh, but like he's not really giving me much though. He's not really playing, you know, showing what he has. He's got a lot of different energy, so like who knows what he has, dude. Who knows what he has. He's got water. What do you search for? Just wait. I'm confused. Aqua Patch, maybe Milotic. Yeah, it's Milotic. Okay, Milotic. All right, well I should get a Pyro, and that'll be an easy clap. <laughs> uh, does he play any special effects? I don't think so. Yeah, when when I saw like the double colors Aqua Patch, I I I, I thought it was uh, Milotic. ADP Milotic though. ADP Milotic. Interesting. All right, all right. I think he actually could make my active Pokemon asleep, but I mean that that doesn't really matter. All right, I just I'm gonna get rid of the float. Why not? Um, yeah, I mean compressor would be pretty good right here. There we go. Hopefully my port power is uh, not prized. Probably asking for like a field lore here. I like to do these like later in the game. Um. Special energy, I mean, yeah, that will probably be decent. Um, I, mean, I, th I think I play six guys in total, so I have everyone. Um, I mean, I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff that I could beat this guy with. I have a ton of stuff to use. Oh, I'm dumb. Oh, why did I... I always do that, dude. I forgot that I discard everything. Okay, well, there goes that. It probably won't be much of an issue this game. Um, yeah, I'll probably just go for Pyro. Can't go wrong with Pyro, dude. Can never go wrong. And uh, getting energy wouldn't be too bad. Uh, I want to get Marnie. So, do I have anything prize? I don't know. Alright. Um, I mean, like Altaria. Screw up. I feel like this guy would probably work. I mean, he could like Aqua Patch three times, but I'll just Altaria. Um. Yeah, I mean, GX and B, that worked perfectly. So, unless he plays like a Stealthy, stealthy Hood or something, then uh, he can't do anything against me. He cannot do anything against me. So, this is either, either going to be a game where um, he concedes early or else... Okay, <laughs> or else he was going to like Dragon Art. Right, I'm glad he conceded, yeah. Uh, I'm going to look at his deck just to make sure that he didn't have anything against me. So, that, that was a classic, like, just, just straight up wall, <laughs> wall scenario right there. Um... Yeah, he, he had nothing for me. He had four four energy, but he could do nothing against the Pyro, so ni nice easy victory. Alright, going in, going into another game. Um, I go first. Definitely like going first. Um Yeah, we'll see we'll see. It's it's all about the matchup, man. It really depends what, what my opponent has. Sometimes they have like a good deck for me, sometimes they don't. Uh, I mean I gotta like communications. A lot of communications though. Definitely not gonna make this mistake again. Attach it after I switch. Oh, <laughs> play bad party. You know what that means, dude. Uh, I mean, I could whiff and not get a Pokemon now. Three communications, man. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All right, so I made like pick and choose, man. Pick and choose. I'm in Persian. Honchkrow. But the thing about Honchkrow is that like. I can't do if they have, if they attach energy they, then they can hit it. Uh, but I'll do it anyways. I don't mark is decent, but like yeah, he's gonna he's gonna do plenty of you know his first turn. I mean, yeah, Aerodactyl is all right, I guess. Just do that for now. Trainer's mill first. Definitely do that. I mean, I, I had supporters, but I I need another. I need another dude. All right, give me, give me like a, an any Pokemon supporter. Nice. All right, that should be GG. That should be GG. I mean, I, unless I like get like a, a bad hand, but like all I need to do is just Persian. All I need to do here. Yeah. Now I feel like I should cut down communications though. Yeah, I probably should cut down a little bit. Maybe. I 
All right, yeah, I just need a Zork, and I and I can win. Like I do have, I mean, Honchkrow is good for like unfair GX, but like, I need a hammer. I mean, unless he doesn't touch energy, but he here did so. All right, well he's not. Oh, he's what? Did he not use a supporter? Why did he not even use a supporter? All right, well, uh, yeah, that, that's a wrap though. <laughs> that's a wrap, man. Lose those damage counters real quick. Just uh, low inversion. And then, um, yeah, hopefully he concedes. Hopefully he doesn't drag this on, but I guess we'll end. I don't know why he didn't uh, <laughs> use a supporter. That was uh, kind of weird, man. Maybe he forgot. I don't know. Just do that. I mean, like, I could actually get a mock. I mean, that wouldn't be too bad. I'm just sitting on the bench, you know. Um, Just thin. Thin my deck right here. Actually, maybe I should have done that after, because I, I could have, like, communication, like, get Pokemon if I got him. Alright, well, looks like I can't um, do that. But I have the Sign Lab up, so that should be fun. Alright, so we give this guy another end. Next turn. But yeah, there, there's... If he's playing just, like, a regular Mad Party deck, there's nothing he can do right here. Absolutely nothing. What you got, man? <laughs> Is he gonna drag this out, dude? Alright, he's gonna kill Zora. Whatever. Who cares? Who cares? I don't. I mean, yeah, I, I guess I wanna get an energy just to, like, keep attacking this guy. He's got a Ranger, but that's fine. That is fun. It prevents effects of attacks. I'm just waiting for this guy to concede, man, honestly. <laughs> like, bro, you, you got nothing for me, bro. You got nothing. Like, why even try, dude? Alright, that's fine. I'll play this out. I'll play this out. I, I can sit here all day, dude. I, I actually can't. I mean, like, he's... I mean, his only, his, his only hope is to, like, you know... Um... You know, if I run off cards, that's not happening. If I can attack each turn, that's not happening. Because, like, I one-hit this guy, dude. 120 damage. Um, I do play three double colors in my deck. I do play three. But yeah, Mad 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 Party is a pretty easy match for me. <laughs> pretty easy match for me. I, I do like that. All right, man, man. I'll I'll let his I'll let him do his thing. I'll let him do his thing. I mean, maybe maybe he plays like a a Cape of Toughness or or not Cape of Toughness. Um, what am I thinking of? A stealthy hood. We all we all know he's not though. We all know he, he doesn't play that. It's about to pull out the basic energy to watch. Basic energy in that party. All right, there we go. All right, hopefully, hopefully, if, like if I attach double colors, like keep hitting this guy, then the game can end. Uh, should I just Galadian? I mean, who knows? Wait, I could have a prize. Who knows, dude? Might as well. <laughs> I do have a prize. Okay. All right, time to start hitting. Time to start hitting. Fuel blower. What is this guy doing, man? I'm probably gonna cut this game. I'm probably gonna cut this to the end actually, because I, I don't wanna put like all this like filler nonsense in here. When uh we all know what's gonna happen in this game. Uh we've got the same card. I, I have a little bit more though. I mean he keeps thinning. Does keep thinning. Yeah, so this is effects of tax nice. Not not all my dudes. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go, man. <laughs> About damn time, man. All right, let's see what he had. The rest, the new card, rescue carrier. Uh, he had a target whistle, but yeah, nothing that could have beat my deck. All right, going into another game. A lot of Pokemon, my hand. 
Dude's got Zassian deck box, which I mean, Zassian is pretty good, pretty good matchup for me. They generally don't play a lot of things that could beat me. Alright, it just looks... Okay, that looks like a, a turbo, turbo, turbo Zassian deck, so I need another sword. I need another sword right here. If I if I do that, then that should be fine. Do a sign lab, which could help. Could help. Oh, he's playing Jirachi. I have three Zorix, and what is this? Okay, I got I got Ultra Ball. We're good. Um, discard that. Get another Zora. I, I I got a Marty for next turn. That's good. But I definitely do want to, want to bench though. Okay, well maybe not. He's playing Jirachi with Zastine, so doesn't probably not a fully triple deck then. No, nope, that was all right. See ya, see ya, bro. <laughs> um. Damn it! Imagine if he didn't get that field lord, dude. He would have been dead handed right there. All right, it's whatever. So I can Zork even if he does kill me. I just need to get like a compressor off this morning, and I should be fine. I mean, what if he's playing like bronze or bronze long? A lot of these decks do. They, they do play bronze long. So I mean I guess Pyro couldn't go through him, but like I have I play against, you know, weakness and I don't think he can one hit like a Pyro, so I mean that probably would be an issue. Alright, what's this guy doing? I guess you're using that again. He's playing a ton of switches though. A ton of switches. <coughs> uh he's not found a real, real supporter yet. Probably Zassian, maybe Crabat. Yeah, I think I, I think Pyro is the dude here. I think so. Oh, he's got a Marnie. Okay, well, that could be that could be bad. <laughs> that could be bad, man. Kicks well, okay. Well So he needs like another switch if he wants to attack. So, okay, so he's not attacking this turn, that's good. So it gives it gives me another chip. I don't get what I'm looking for. Um, things I could get like a rescue out of here. I'll do this first. Probably just Gladian, you know. See what I get from that. Do that first. Oh yeah, I forgot. I, I saw all four of my Zorks in my deck though. Okay, that was that was nice. Um, I could get a supporter, but let's so just get a trainer's mill. Screw. It. I mean, he's got he's got he's got Marnies. I'll just do this again. He does he does play Marnies. Okay, I'll just get an Ultra Ball. Yeah, I mean, I could be in top deck mode, but that's fine. It's fine. So I I can lock him right. I can uh, do my thing right here. All right, so do I have six, three? Oh wait, I have seven dudes. I think. Okay, well I, I have all my guys. So I mean, I could do alter. I mean, he can still attack with those guys, but like I, Pyro definitely, you know, weakness can definitely speed things up. Um, you know, like a muck on the bench wouldn't be too bad, but he's gonna be playing Guzmas. I'll just get this guy. Um, it really doesn't matter. Definitely just Pyro and Altera. Yeah. Right, but I will be in top deck mode. I will just get his work right here. And then Pyroar, and that should be game. That should be game. Probably don't need a my big parasol. He does he doesn't really play any, any effects. But I mean he could he could have another attacker, who knows? But he's playing that playing. Playing a not so fast Zassian deck though, which is interesting. Um, I saw Max Lixer and just assumed that you know it was like really sped up, but he's playing he's playing Marius as well, so like not research is as like the really you know turbo deck with like bronze on bronze on and all that. He can still he's probably gonna get some, but <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's fun. I, I just know he's gonna get some. Yeah, I mean that's why it's so like, it like it, it's hard for like my muck to be useful. Like if this guy rides the bench, nope, dying, e easy, easy death, easy death to muck. 
Alright, um, what is this guy? This guy's playing like freaking like. How he's just like switching so much, dude. <laughs> Escape rope, two switches. What? Guzma and like why even escape rope though? What was the point of that? You could have just Guzma. Oh, do you want to thin his hand out? Okay. I mean, he's gonna brave blade, but um, yeah, he he's he's definitely unaware. He's definitely unaware. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um. Yeah, he probably realized that is that that he can't win against me now, dude. And, I guess that was his uh, first encounter against Pyro, dude. Welcome to Pokemon. <laughs> Welcome to Pokemon, dude. Oh my god. Alright, going into another game. I'll start first. Looks like we're playing Grass Tech, maybe? <coughs> Can't really, you know, judge their deck covers, deck boxes. Alright, looks like I'm gonna have to give them a ton of mulligans. Oof, what is this? What is this? Rescue Scarf? Maybe tool drop, but um, the supporters looked like stall or something. What could that be? I guess we'll find out. All right, there we go. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully I don't give him like a million cards though. Hopefully not. Okay, well it looks like no uh no basic Pokemon. Devil Marnie for next turn. But I can't really do much with this hand. I really do much. Heracross. Yeah, this looks like a stall deck. Um Okay, so I I may actually want to play with Trevnaut. I may want to play with that. Um, I mean, like, if he's playing no energy, then this is where Trevnaut comes really in handy. I'll just do this. I don't think I'm gonna die, so I'll just get his orc. The next turn should be should be good. Alright, I'm I'm very curious what this is. So, so I mean, that's basically like a. It's basically like a. Um, okay, he's putting a ton of items, man. Yeah, yes. I, I, this is some, this is some, like, um, not a mill deck, but, like, stall, basically. Yeah, I saw all those Team Rockets hand, handiwork, so. He's definitely trying to mill my deck. Uh, hopefully he's, he's he, I see, he could be playing, like, no, I mean, if he's playing, he can't play hammers if he's item locked. He cannot play hammers if he's item locked. Oh, well, there, that was fast. Okay, well. <laughs> Alright, I, I think I should be fine this game. I, I think Trevnaut should shine, dude. For sure in this matchup. I I'm not going to put any bench book one at all. Um, I mean... The thing is that a, a muck would be pretty good, though. A muck would be pretty good. Um, But I do have Silent Lab. And he can't play like any field blowers, so I think I should just go for the silent labs. Not like he could probably like Guzma me as well. That would be too good. Um, so I'll just discard whoever really doesn't matter. Um, I'll just glade in, you know, see what I get though. All right, but I mean, I should win this, man. Like, <laughs> what is he gonna do with item lock though? Just glade and see what I have. Definitely gonna take an Aurora Energy for sure. I do sixty damage. I, I didn't even see what my other prizes, but like I, I need I need energy though. Definitely need energy. Alright, so um got a good Marnie for that. That's good. He's using supporters because he can't pick them up. I mean unless he has a loose speed, but still. Still. I mean like what would I mean I guess he just search for like a bunch of supporters though. Wait, does this actually work against Lily Doll? Wait, does that work against Pokey Doll? I guess it does. Don't really want to put that, man. Yeah, I'll definitely just Marnie. <coughs> yeah, I can I can attack now. I mean, Silent Lab would be pretty good, though. Okay, nice. So, 
Oh, that kind of sucks. But, like, he can't put down any more tools, though. So, I mean, field board would be nice. Okay. Yeah, I'll definitely just put these down. And then... Effects. Well, he's not even going to attack, man. Oh, this also does bench damage. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> this is so good. Um, I mean, that kind of sucks. Yeah, I don't know how this guy is going to win against me. He does have much likes, but like still, I am... This is like a perfect matchup for me, dude. This is actually like a perfect... So I'll, I'll, I'll knock three Pokemon. I mean, only one prize, but like he will like curse shovel down. Oh uh, yeah, I just want to get these guys out of here. Yeah, this is actually like the best matchup ever, dude. <laughs> I've never seen this deck before. Oh, I got my Gladium back. Poggers. I mean, I guess he, he can get, he can keep spamming Pokemon. Can't keep doing that. Teammates. So he's probably gonna search for like a stadium. I forgot that I can put stadiums down. Maybe like a Lusamine. I don't have I don't have access to another Marty though, which is kind of an issue. He didn't do anything. What? What? I don't really want to thin my yeah. I, I don't want to thin my deck out. There, I could still lose. I, I want to play this smart. I don't want to thin down my deck. Not at all. I'll just Marty. If he could like fab on my energy away, that'd be pretty annoying. That'd be pretty annoying if he did that. But I, he probably he, he definitely searched for more supporters because he didn't play anything that that turn. Like if he, if he doesn't have a counter state, then I'll be really surprised. Maybe maybe it's surprised or something. No, what what's this guy doing, man? Okay, I mean, is there anything I need? I guess energy wouldn't be too bad, right? Don't need a fuel blower. Yeah, I'll just get more energy. Can't hurt. It. Could be playing Fabus, so but I mean this is Mario. This Mario's gonna really hurt him. I'll kill this guy's gonna be left with 20 more HP. <coughs> Alright, nice. Taking two prizes already. Not too bad. Just played three supporters already. Alright, what what you got, man? There we go. Wow, that was that was a, that was a perfect matchup for me, dude. Holy crap, good voltage. Let's go. I can't look at his deck, but like, yeah, he, I, 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 he, that was definitely a stall deck. I mean, this is what Trevenant is for, man. To kill all these mill, all these stall decks, dude, where they don't even hit me. Trevenant can just stay in the active all game long. All right, going into another game, we'll be going second. Um, he's definitely not playing Tina Chomp. Alright, hopefully I don't give him a million cards, though. Decent hand. I'm going second, so... He's gonna have- he's gonna get two turns to set up, so... One Zora is definitely dead. No question about that. Shadow Kyrex. Now this is an iffy matchup, cause like... He's got Astro Barrage, dude. He's got... Cresselia's Wall. This is gonna be tough. <laughs> I actually don't know if I can beat this deck. I do not know. Okay, he's got a ton of attackers. Like I got I got Altaria. I do have Altaria, but like I need like a big Paris on this guy. I don't know. I don't know. I'll just get another Zora. See what he does. But he's got he he discard Crustlea right away. I mean this, this guy could like hit me though. All right, he's gonna evolve right away. I mean I guess like Altaria. <coughs> Altaria is my best bet. Like he's he's got evolution Pokemon. He can't really do Pyroar. Cynthia. Okay, well, I mean, I have like, I've not, I, yeah, I don't have any dudes in my deck. I mean, I could actually just move all my bench. I mean, it's not a bad idea. That really isn't a bad idea. But like, he could Guzma, he could Guzma, but I'll try. 
Yeah, I kind of. I mean, this is a waste of Dorora, but I do want to discard this guy. Oh wait. Oh no, I was. Oh, oh wait, I didn't. I was. I was thinking that. Whatever. Okay, so I didn't need to play that. That was a. That was a complete waste. What can you do though? What can you do. Do I have a? I mean, like, I'm probably not even attacking this guy. This this game, I probably just want to wall him, dude. Probably just want to wall him. Uh, I'll just. I'll just get his work, and then I'll just. Oh. Okay. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, oh muck. So Lone Persian is for tag teams, but he's got Shadow Cataracts, which wouldn't work. Cause it looks like he's playing all basic energy as well. <coughs> oh wow. He he didn't like that. Oh <laughs> he did not like that man. Oh man. I, I think I got him there. He played a lot of basics. Or a lot of abilities. So, what could have done me then? I think, I mean, yeah, Altaria. All he had was like Cresselia, Wobbuffet, Marshadow, which could have could have attacked me for sure. Um, this guy actually could have killed me. Did he have a rescue though? Uh, yeah, he had an Ori Rod, so I mean, he definitely could have beat me. He definitely could have beat me. I mean, I, I can unlock against like every single thing. He had a lot of like random stuff, but like. I guess I just caught him with a bad hand, <laughs> and he had, and he know, had, you know, um, Sion Lab, bro, or a basic ability locking, dude. Love to see it. All right, going into another game. Go first. We're up against a uh, Zork deck box, which should, which actually should be my deck, my deck box cover. All right, I mean this is a decent hand. Um, hopefully, I get like another ball or something. Do I have compressors? One compressor. Oof. Um, this is Leafy on me max. <coughs> Um, I guess Altaria is gonna have to carry me. You know, I mean that's that's my only thing for Vmax is, I mean yeah Altaria. Uh, wait, what is Frillish? Wait, hold on, what is Frillish? What is Frillish? What the hell is Frillish, dude? Discard Altaria. But I, I saw the Roma energies. I so said it must be Leafy. Yeah. Like I saw like the stadium as well. Um. Special energy, I guess. Um, why not? Why not? Do this first. I'll take a Zork. Why not? All right, can I get like another basic? All right, well, I probably won't die though. But like, all right, I gotta look up what Jellison does. What is Jellison? What the hell is Jellison? Um. All right, well, there goes that. Oh, the retreat cost of okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I forgot about this card. So it's basically like an Absol. Uh, the retreat cost of your opponent's Pokemon is one more. Um, but Absol, it's a basic. Um, yeah, you could just plop it down, but it only it only affects basics. Um, but you have to evolve. But it it, it but then that um retreat cost affects. Basics, evolutions, whatever, so. Alright. But he's playing Lithium V Max. I mean he can't evolve this turn. I should be fine. Like he's he's got like no other attacker, surely. Um Yeah, so I, I should be fine. So I, I'm actually like in the middle of making a Lithium V Max and I have absolute instead. I mean that these guys kind of are pain to like a you know evolve, so I probably won't put them in my deck. Um, I mean, it, it, it's good though against like Vmaxes and stuff like that. Um, I'll Cynthia. Hopefully, I don't whiff the compressor because I. Oh wait, oh no, I already got it. I already got it. Um, any effects of attacks though? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, I'll just put another bench because why not? And then, yeah, I'll just uh, get an Altaria going. Yes, yeah, so he's definitely playing like basic energy. Uh, I mean, yeah, M Muck on the bench wouldn't be too bad either. Um, might as well. Might as well. Can I have a dead hand? But uh, yeah, I'll just call it a day here. All right, we'll we'll see what he do. We'll, what he does. I mean, I'm gonna look up Jelson again. I guess he could attack with Tapu. No, no, he can't attack. Yeah, he can't attack. Maybe I shouldn't have put down another Zork, because like it could be a pain retreating. It could actually be like such a pain retreating. 
Um, Vibrate commit now. Alright, um, so there is nothing there. Okay, I got a Marty Nice. I'll just definitely go for Muck. Not really anyone else I need. So I guess he had nothing to, I mean, he's he's got a filled up bench, but like... So he's, he's ability locked now. Okay, nice. I can start hitting. I'll take it. I mean, not a lot of damage. Like, <laughs> not a lot of damage, but I'll take it. Um... I've only got one lap left. Yeah, there's really not much I need right here. I'll just start hitting. Does this guy have anything for me though? Okay. Wait, is he gonna wait, what does that do? Oh wow. <laughs> okay. Alright. I mean I guess he's just like stalling right now. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep hitting for the rest of the game. Keep hitting for the rest of the game then. Thing about muck is like <laughs> this guy's got four. I kind of want this guy to kill me actually. I probably shouldn't have even put him down because it could be really awkward. Okay, nice. <laughs> he gives me the win. Nice. All right, I got him there. Yeah, Altaria MVP. Uh, it, it's good. It, it's good when they only have like one attacker. Um, you know, because I if they only have like one attacker in their deck, then I usually can win because like I I I, I block against a ton of stuff. It's when they have like a bunch of like multiple like variety of attackers where things get awkward all right guys that's gonna wrap up all the battles for this video overall i think this i think this deck actually worked out really well i think i actually won most games i played a lot you know i mean there's only like a few decks that actually beat me the, the ones that had like a lot of like different attackers that's really hard to you know play against but like most decks are like just you know they have like one or two attackers and that's pretty much it so it's not really that hard to lock them i mean like your second turn you can zork into pretty much anyone you want i mean we've got just so many so many different walls, so many scenarios where we can win against. It's a really fun deck as well, um, and it, it's really good. It is very good. Uh, but yeah, that's going to wrap up all the battles for this video. So if you guys did enjoy watching, make sure you guys hit like, subscribe to the channel. That's it, guys. All right, peace out.